is good everybody my paper moon fam it's your boy paper sin aka the hokage of the village hidden in that loud and you know what i'm saying i had a question you know what I'm saying? i got a question for you what's your favorite horror game oh that was my attempt at kind of mimicking the what's your favorite scary movie from that movie scary from that movie uh scary movie with you know the Wayne brothers yeah so what's your favorite horror game um i don't really play horror games that much i like watching horror movies i like watching horror content i don't like playing the game games that much i don't know why maybe, I, maybe one day i'll say something like hey if i get enough likes i'll play this horror game i can't do it today because it's like you know what I'm saying? Small time. Nobody really checks these out. Thanks. Shout out to the people who actually do watch these videos. I, I'm grateful. Thank you. But um, let's see. What am I talking about when it comes to horror games? Because apparently somebody's new this 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 person who wrote this article, Robin Valentine, their new greatest fear is meeting the two-faced monster from this survival horror game that combines Retro pixel art with FMV. What is FMV? Don't worry. Give me a, give me a second. Hang in there and you'll find out. Slow motion video. And anyway, uh, so uh, this game is a, this this article is about a game called Tenebris Tenebris Somnia, which is technically uh, uh, says is, is a uniquely creepy and you can play the demo now. Um, hmm. Let's check out the 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 teaser for it i could have given you just the, like the, there's like a 30 second 33 second um trailer but i want to give you all the teaser for it because i got y'all that's that good good you know what i'm saying this is like good good let's check it out i've been having the same nightmare over and over again of my ex-lover ian being wait wait i'm reading the captions hold on why is the closed caption so different from the text and why is the even closed caption for the text instead of like audio? Is there a theory behind this? Is there is there like is this a a breadcrumb trail for like a to find a theory? Somebody get Matt Pat. All right, I'm gonna restart this and I'm gonna read the actual text that's on the screen, not the one that not the uh, closed caption. Although I do want to kind of read the closed caption, but I'm curious about the actual text. Every night, I, obviously they're the same, but why are they worded differently? Every night I have the same dream. I see my ex-boyfriend being killed by horrible creatures. I try to contact him without success. Ivan, are you there? I knock, but there's no answer. I'm now in his apartment. Wait, what? Looking for him. To have a key, I guess? Whoa. Why is this window boarded up? It's empty. There's only a bottle of with some chemical. I got developing chemical. Looks like there's a body. There's a body in there. Nope. Never mind. I lied. Uh, inventory. Equip. Equip. You didn't question the the side the, the sigil that was on his door when you first walked in in that living room. Maybe the nightmares are real. Why? Who opened the door? Ooh. Oh, there's the FMV. Oh, this is good. The 8 bit survival horror game with live action cutscenes. Tenebris Somnia. A game made by Andreas Borghi. Shout out to Andreas. 2023 wishlist now on Steam. Oh, I hope he's not using Unity. Because if he's using Unity, he's gonna. Like, this game might get cancelled if Unity rolls out, goes through and, and like actually rolls out with their shit. Hopefully they don't. But that was pretty interesting. Um Yeah. So that's why that's why this is the image for the art article. Because it goes from A bit to the FMV. And now well, I, I I said before we're gonna get into what the FMV is, and this person actually lets us know. So here's the article. It can it reads 
once thought far too cheesy to bring up with us into the modern gaming era, FMV has been enjoying a bit of a, resist a renaissance over the last decade, thanks to games like Her Story, Alan Wake. If you're not familiar, it stands for full. Oh, Her Story and Alan Wake. If you're not familiar, it stands for full motion video. In other words, it's when live action film sequences are used in video games. Also, it turns out it can be intense, intensely creepy. By the way, I've played Alan Wake. I'm waiting for Alan Wake 2 to come out. Uh, I think it's coming out next year. I think it got pushed back. Um, but yeah, I plan, on, I plan on playing that. So if you want to see me play that, or if you want to see me play, you know, other games, check out my kick.com slash paper sin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you knew I was gonna come. You knew I was gonna say it. You know, you know what's coming. Anyway, kick.com kick.com slash paper sin. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. The article continues. Even in this new age FMV appreciation, upcoming survival horror game Tenebris Somnia uses, uses it in an unusual way. As a woman investigating a house plagued by terrors, you explore a pixel art world reminiscent of classic point and click adventure games. Day of the Tentacle is what it brings is what is what it brings to mind. Okay. Comes to mind. And anyway. It is what is, is what is is what it brings to mind for me colorful and a little cartoony it doesn't strike too creepy a tone that is until the game cuts to an fmb sequence for a closer look at a grisly scene or the introduction of a disturbingly deformed monster well that is creepy is that the hell no nah, bro Though there are only a few short clips of the FMV, uh, FMV in the trailer and current demo, I'm really impressed so far. These live action sequences wouldn't look amiss in a big budget horror movie. And the effects, particularly the monster, a truly horrible two-faced woman, are impressive, creative, and genuinely unsettling. So I guess that's why that's their new nightmare. Uh, we're gonna watch the trailer. We are gonna watch the trailer after this, after I finish this article since it's there. Though there are only a few short clips of the FMV in the trailer and the current demo, I'm really impressed so far. These live action sequences wouldn't look amiss in a big budget horror. Wait, wait, didn't we just read that? Hold on. I must have scrolled back up instead. Anyway, um, as it cuts back to the pixel art world, suddenly your imagination is filling in all the blank. The pixelated version is the monster of the monster is rather less intimidating out of context but having just been shown its real form your mind almost sees it as that it's not completely uh, seamless the pixel art would or the pixel art world could stand to be a little darker and sharper for a better blend between the two but even but then the fact that the transaction can be a little jarring itself throws you off balance across a full playthrough, I could see it being a great tension building tool. As you cling to the lies, the less, <laughs> as you cling to the less immediately threatening reality and dread triggering the creepy FMV scenes. Though Tenebris Somnia doesn't yet have a release date, you can get a taste of it already by downloading the demo on Steam. Just don't let the monster get a taste of you. So that's the article, that's the, the video, that's the game. You know what I'm saying? Have you played this game? Have you played the demo? Do you plan on playing the demo? Let me know. Also, real quick, let's go and see if we can watch the trailer for this. Yep, there's the trailer. All right, let's do it. We watched the, the other thing. We watched the, uh, the teaser. Let's watch the trailer. Sidebot Studios, Andreas Boy. Whoa. What is she looking at? Oh, she looking at his body? Holy shit. Who's that? Oh. Okay. Was that the monster? Hey. 
I guess that's the monster, but before she actually changes form. Damn, she's cute though. That's her when she takes her makeup off. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yep, enjoy that. Enjoy that image. That's her when she takes the makeup off, bro. Oh god. Anyway, let me stop. Sorry, not sorry. A little bit sorry. Not sorry. This actually does look pretty good. I get why they said it wouldn't like it. It would still blend in with like an uh, actual horror movie. Like, hmm, I like it. Okay, okay. I might actually play this because it's not that bad. I, I might actually play this. Uh, if you want to see me play it, <laughs> I'm gonna do the thing. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, and when the game, we'll, we'll try out the demo when the game comes out. Then uh, we'll, we'll play that. But you gotta let me know first. Cause any, so anyway, after that, that's why the lights are out. By the way, that's why the lights are, you know, off. The back lights are off. Cause I know this is supposed to be about a horror game. So yeah, you know, setting the mood and setting the theme and all that good stuff, you feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, as always, links to everything, the article, both videos will both be, will all be in the description below. So be sure to check them out if you're, if you're feeling it, if you're feeling froggy leap. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this newscast, this wake and baked newscast by yours truly, the Hokage of the Village. And then that out. And uh, yeah, that's creepy. I gotta get that off the screen. Hold on. Anyway, <laughs> you know what it is after that? In case I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon. Wait, don't forget to do those three things that I like to ask you to do first. And like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. Yeah. And you know what it is after that. In case I don't see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace. Much love to you.